fine. So here I have the numerical, which is a BJT having uh, beta equal to 100 is biased at a DC collector current of 1 milliampere. Find the value of GM, RE, and R pi at the bias point. Now it is 1 milliampere. So what is the value formula for GM? GM is IC collector current by VT. 1 milliampere by 25 milli volts, uh, you know, there. So therefore it will become 40 milliamperes per volt. 40 milliamperes per volt. So having found the value of GM, then it is the RE and the R pi. R pi is beta by uh, GM. R pi is beta by GM. That's why we'll get beta is 100 divided by 40, you'll get 2.5 kilo ohms. Then RE will be R pi divided by, you know, R pi divided by beta plus one, beta plus one. And generally he's taking beta itself and that's why he's getting 25 ohms, okay? 2.5 divided, 2.5 kilo ohms divided by 101, okay? Might be 24, he's writing 25 itself. So not much difference. Really speaking, it is R e is equal to R pi by beta plus one. R pi is equal to one plus beta into R e. Okay, so you can use that formula and try to find the value of R e. Okay, let us go to the next problem. So in the circuit of 6.36a, 6.36a is you know, the same thing which we have considered earlier. This one only, okay? This only. So we have derived the relationship for all that, right? VBE is adjusted to yield a DC collector current of one milliampere. So this is again DC collector current, capital IC. Capital IC is one milliampere. Let VCC equal to 15 volts, RC equal to 10 kilo ohms, beta equal to 100. Find the voltage gain VCE by VBE. VCE by VBE. So if you see the, you know, look back at the PPTs which we have already seen. So the voltage gain the voltage gain VC by VB is minus GM RC. Minus GM RC. So minus GM RC if you see there. So we have, you know, GM value, did we find this is one milliampere IC? So GM we don't know. So GM will be IC VT, IC divided by VT. VT is 25 milli volts. One milliampere by 25 milli volts will give again 40 milliampere per volt. Minus GM RC will be minus 40 milli volts. Uh, milliampere per volt multiplied by 10 kilo ohms. So milli and kilo will cancel. 40 into 10 will give us the value 400 and with a minus sign because it is minus GM RC is the value of the gain, voltage gain, which is VCE by VBE. So thus we'll get 400 minus 400 volt per volt. Okay, that's the first part. Then if small VB is equal to 0 0.005 sine omega t, find V with a capital C T and I with a capital B T. So please remember that this is the total value of the collector voltage. Bias as well as that is bias as well bias that is nothing but the DC value plus the signal component. Vc small v small c together. 
small v small c together and the value of the ib also here is the you know total base current dc plus ac okay total current dc plus ac so we should be able to find both of them okay. so now we if you want to find both of them then the vct value the ac as you know is dc as well as the ac the dc value of the vc will be uh, so you have vct is equal to capital vc plus small v small c capital v capital c plus small v small c will be two different values capital vc will be vcc minus this dc you know uh, current ic into rc 15 minus 1 into 10 15 minus 1 into 10 and that will give us 15 minus 10 that will give me 5 that is why this value is 5 over here that is why this value is 5 here now we should find this quantity now we should find this quantity now so what are the value of the if you just go back and I have a look at what is the value of the vct the formula for this vct in the ppts then that will make things uh, clear so this is the uh, you know really speaking vct okay that is equal to vce minus icrc so we need to find this we need to find this now minus i this is what we have found as five and we need to find this value of minus icrc so how much is ic there we need to find that small ic rc is given there as it is okay so here the value of vbe is given the value of vbe is given and we need to find the value of the ic what is the relationship between ic and vbe do we know the relationship between ic and vbe yes we know that and that is nothing but the transconductance ic is equal to gm vbe ic is equal to gm vbe so the value of gm is you know we have just found out uh, which is equal to 40 milli ampere per volt multiplied by the you know value of 0 0.0005 okay you multiply that and multiply that with you know rc again because that is the current that current multiplied by the value of rc will give us the total value so this sin omega t will remain same what we need to do is 0 0.005 okay multiplied by gm that is 40 then milli also will be there multiplied by 10 kilo ohms so milli and kilo will cancel 0 0.005 into 40 will give us the value which is 0 0.2 0 0.2 multiplied by 10 will give us the value 2 that is why this 2 okay minus is always there because in the formula if you see we have the minus in the formula we have the minus so vce minus icrc so vce we have found which is vcc minus icrc which is 15 minus you know 1 into 10 and this icrc can be found as ic is gm into vbe gm into vbe and all that you substitute rc value also you substitute you will get the value so at the end it is this formula which we have to use this formula or might be ideally speaking this formula vc is equal to this formula you write you will get in single step vcc is how much ic is how much you know all that rc is how much you know all that this ic will be nothing but gmvbe okay substitute all that you will get in a single step the value which is vce now in the same way we can try to find out right we can try to find out 
the value of the you know ibt ibt so what is ibt do we have the formula already for that let us try to see okay let us try to see do we have a formula for the ibt from the you know slides yes so this is ib so this ib is equal to ib plus ib okay ib plus ib or you can say ib is equal to ic by beta plus 1 by beta ic by bt into vb so this formula you can find and straight away you will get the value okay so ic we have found out vt we know this is nothing but gm again right beta we might be knowing vb do we know yes vb we know this is small vb please remember that this is small vb okay so small vb is already given to us okay you can substitute that ic by beta ic how much is that ic is 1 milliampere ic by beta is there here and ic is 1 milliampere given in the you know this thing beta is given as 100 1 by 1 milliampere by 100 1 milliampere by 100 will give us you know 10 microamperes and that 10 is written here and microampere is written here 1 milliampere by 100 is 10 microamperes microampere is written here and 10 is written here similarly the ac component of that is 1 by beta ic by vt so this is just gm 40 milliampere per volt by 100 40 milliampere per volt by 100 multiplied by vbe vbe is again given to us in the uh, formula it's in the uh, example itself which is nothing but 0 0.005 of course sin omega t will always be there 0 0.005 so it will be 0 0.005 into 40 milliampere divided by 100 all that will give you the value which is 2 okay you will get the value 2 40 divided by 100 into 0 0.005 will give us 2 microampere 40 milliampere per volt divided by 100 multiplied by 0 0.005 will give us the value 2 microampere okay thus we will get this equation right so this will be an exercise i am telling orally all the thing but you need to write it you know uh, bit by bit okay all that if you have you know a pen and a paper you have already taken and you are sitting with it you can try to solve it on your own then and there itself okay so for the model given in 6.40b 40b so this is 40b okay uh, show that ic is equal to gmvb and i is equal to vb divided by re okay so here he is telling you vbe is equal to he is asking you ic is equal to gmvbe and ie is equal to vbe by re straight away ic is equal to gmvb from this figure he is asking you so that means here what is given is the value vbe is equal to ib into r pi vbe is equal to ib into r pi is one equation the other equation is ic is equal to beta ib so from here vb is equal to ib r pi you can find ib ib will be equal to vbe by r pi and that ib value you substitute here so beta into vbe by r pi beta into vbe by r pi is equal to ic so then we will get ic is equal to 
beta by r pi into vv beta by r pi is nothing but gm beta by r pi is nothing but gm and then we will get this equation similarly to get this ie is equal to vb by re ie is equal to vb by re ie is this and that is nothing but sum of ib and ic sum of ib and ic ib is nothing but vb by r pi and ic is nothing but beta ib ib you can take it out common and then you can try to simplify okay ie is nothing but sum of this current and this current and ib is vb by r pi and ic is beta ib ib common you can take so then we'll get 1 by r pi plus beta simplify that and you will get finally the value ie is equal to vb by re okay you need to simplify that then you'll get the value vb by r so we are left with only eight minutes so if you have any questions we'll take it now and stop the recording